How does? I'd like you again to draw a number line, please. Okay, if you want to, you could use the ruler, or you could do it by hand. Draw a number line. And select the point zero, where you want zero to be. Okay, good. Now, this problem wants you to find the point three-fourths. So, what do you want the hole to be? How many segments do you want to represent the hole? Four. Four. Okay, why don't you do that? Show me where the number... First of all, label that as zero. Where's the number one? Here. Here. Okay, label that as number one underneath. And where's the number two? Here. Okay. Now the problem wants you to find the point three-fourths here. Why don't you use this green marker? Show me where the point three-fourths would be. Here. Okay. And then make it... Okay, good. And use the marker to call it three-fourths. Good. Now over here it says, on this same number line, can you locate the point, this, what point is this? Can you read it? Uh, what does this say? Two, a half. Well, is this a half? Hmm? Uh, it's not a half because half would have a one in it on the numerator and two denominator. This is not a half. How would you read this number? Do you know? Two. Hmm? Two. Two or two holes, yes. Yeah, so where would the where would the point two holes be? Here. Over there. So underneath it, instead of two, write two over one, which is two holes. Okay, and over here write two equals two over one. Two is the same as two holes, right? Yeah. Okay, now can you tell me where the point, where this point would be? What is the name of this point? Five fifths. Five fifths? Wow, where would you find five fifths? It's one hole. Wow, how did you know that? Because five fifths is a hole because... Wow, I think that was a tricky problem. Okay, put five fifths over here. So write down one hole equals five fifths. Wow, I think some kids are going to think that's tricky. They're going to say, hey, there's no fifths there. But you did it. It wasn't a trick for you.